So for this problem, we're given a function and we're asked to find its average value over a solid. Here, our solid is a right cylinder, goes from negative 4 to 4 for z, and x squared plus y squared is less than 4. So I hear the word cylinder and I think probably want to integrate in cylindrical coordinates. But first, for average value, we have to find the volume. So the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So I know x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 4. In cylindrical coordinates, x squared plus y squared is r squared. So here our radius is going to be 2. Let me go and plug that in. And then for height, I know z goes from negative 4 to 4. That's a total distance of 8, so that's going to be my height. So that gives me a volume of 32 pi. So now I just need to set up my integral. I know my r, and I know z. I just need to find theta. Well, since this is a cylinder that goes all the way around, I know theta is going to be from 0 to 2 pi. So all the bounds here are constants, but I think I'm going to integrate with respect to r first. So that goes from 0 to 2, and then z, negative 4 to 4. and theta from 0 to 2 pi. Now my function here is x squared plus y squared, but since I'm in cylindrical coordinates, I'm going to change that to r squared. Now I just need my dv for the integral. Remember in cylindrical coordinates that dv is r dr dz d theta. So this is actually become r to the third. Then I have dr dz and d theta. So let me go ahead and integrate with respect to r. The integral of r cubed is going to be 1 fourth r to the fourth. Carry this through. And I want to evaluate that from r equals 0 to r equals 2. So let's plug in 2 first. 2 to the 4th is going to be 16, right? 2 squared is 4 times 4 is 16. But when I divide by 4, I'm going to be left with 4. Right? 16 times 1 over 4. Yep. And then for r equals 0, I'm just going to have 0. So now I'm integrating 4 with respect to z. But first, let me try to simplify this a little bit. I know I have 1 32nd on the outside, but if I multiply that with my 4, I can actually get 1 8th, which will make it a little bit easier. So 1. Okay. So now the integral of 1 with respect to z is just going to be z. And I want to evaluate that from z equals negative 4 to z equals 4. Let me move up here to do that. So I plug in 4 and I get 4, right? And then I want to subtract a negative 4, which is like adding 4, which is going to give me 8 in here. And then I just have to integrate with respect to theta. Well, now I have a 1 8th and an 8. So I can cancel those out pretty easily. 
So now I'm left with one over pi times the integral of d theta from zero to two pi. Well, the integral of one d theta is just gonna be theta. And I wanna evaluate that from theta equals zero to theta equals two pi. So now I have 2 pi minus 0, which is 2 pi. My pi's will cancel out, and I'm left with 2. So that's the average value of this function over our cylinder.